Hello everyone, I'm Simon. Not many of you will recognise me as I only started attending St Peter's earlier this year, together with my wife Linda. We moved to Sandbach from Hampshire to be nearer our children after we retired. Life is challenging, especially now. In these strange times with no end in sight, we all need something to look forward to. We all need hope. Hope is a major theme in the Bible and I want to take this brief opportunity to explore hope with you. In everyday terms, hope is used to express an emotional response to uncertain events. We might hope for good weather on Friday, hope that the postman comes before lunchtime, or even hope that our lottery ticket contains some winning numbers. From our perspective, these are essentially random events and all we can do is roll the dice and hope for the outcome we desire. Christian hope is different. There is certainty, the certainty of promise. That promise comes from the Lord of creation, who makes never-ending covenants with his people. He never breaks his promise. So this means that we can have hope that is more than simply crossing our fingers, hope that is more, much more, than a daily visit to the casino of life. The Bible talks about our hope as being steadfast and certain. You can read about that in Hebrews 6, because it is based on God's promise. But what are we hoping for? What have we got to look forward to? Well, in broad terms, our hope is for the resolution of God's rescue plan, his salvation. He has set out to redeem his creation and he will achieve his purpose. His word never returns to him empty. In personal terms, we can have confidence that life on earth with all its problems and frustrations, is not the end. The Bible talks about a new heaven and a new earth, where all things are made new, and there is no more death, pain or sickness. You can read about that at the end of Revelation. My hope, my confident expectation, is that I will meet Jesus face to face, that he will welcome me as his brother, and that I will enjoy his company, and that of millions of others, in God's presence forever. I hope that doesn't sound arrogant. It really is something to look forward to. Today, why not reflect on what you are hoping for and see whether you can join me in a broader, eternal hope. Have a great day.